Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all doing fantastically well. We're on another part of Hogwarts Legacy. Welcome to another episode and uh, hopefully you guys are doing fantastically well. If you are doing well and you want to support the videos, all, all you can do for me is hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It is very greatly appreciated. I do appreciate everyone that does hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment as well leave a comment because uh it really helps out and um i'm always in the comment section answering back to all of you guys so uh this is part i, th I want to say nine i want to say nine i'm probably wrong though or i'm right i don't know you guys can let me know in the comment. i'll know when i edit it but you know but yeah um we last part we actually did flying we got our broom uh we got a nice looking broom as well actually it was actually quite a good broom so in this in this gameplay we're gonna get the room of requirement that is our next mission uh we're also gonna do the side mission the summoners court match one so this is what we're gonna do now uh so actually let's locate this on the map uh, and that's fast travel. Is there any fast travel points here? All right. There is a fast travel point right here. So we are going to go and do the summoners match with the gobstone things that you have to pull. And then we're going to go and do the room of requirement mission. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a good episode. I'm looking forward to the room of requirement. It's going to be good. What are you doing out here? challenging you to a game of summoner's court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill, a test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? Very well. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Do I even summoner's court? The ever-changing game. Okay. Akio. So he's red. Oh, do I even have Akio? I've got to equip it. <laughs> I'll equip it. Alright. Okay. Let's do this one first. Uh, let's move over here. Akio! Oh no, fall up! Oh, you suck. I held that way too long. Didn't think you were a match for me. Calm down, buddy. What's he got? 60 now, I'm guessing. Try to beat that. Oh, that's a 50? Oh, I've lost, I think. One. That was one for the ages. I can't believe the freaking. I might have to restart this, you know. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. I think I've lost. I don't think I can. Oh, I can't win now. Akio. Oh, that first ball didn't roll off. We would have won that. Yeah. Lucky shot. Wait, did I win? I won. Yeah, you won, but we're, go we're going to go again. I want to beat him. Can we go again? <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Uh, I'm game. I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Uh, I want to smack this ginger prick. <laughs> <laughs> Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Yeah, so you keep saying, go on, have your turn. Have your Thank you. He's got a straight in the 50. All in the wrist. Right, this guy needs to behave himself. Akio. There we go. That was one for the ages. Akio. Oh, yes. How am I supposed to get that up then? Try to beat that. Um. Not 
bad. There's another one. Not bad. Akio. Oh. Where's that got? Oh my god, how am I supposed to get that ball out? Don't want. I think we've won anyway. We didn't even have to play this ball, so. Akio. There we go. You're not bad at this. Well done. You beat me. Yeah. Let's go, we won. That's what I'm talking about. Bit of good luck, that's all. Uh, no need to be upset. That wasn't luck. Uh. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Keep practicing. You're clearly not cut out for this. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I'm not going to be a dick I suppose you're about right. It. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. I don't want to be a douche about it, but. You know. Alright, oh, well, that's that side quest done. Nearly level 22. We're not too far away from it. Um, I don't think we've got any other side missions, or have we? We might actually have some. Um, let's have a look. Oh, we got one here. Is it follow the butterflies? <laughs> I love it. Uh, conjuring spellcraft. Conjuration spellcraft. I mean, this we might as well do it. And then we'll go and do the Room of Requirement. Because I want to spend most of this episode in the, like showing you guys off the Room of Requirement. So, and like, we, we, we gotta, we got to be fixing it up, changing speed. stuff. Alright, so let's go to... Where is she? she? Oh, she inside? Or he inside, whoever this is? Yeah, okay. I wish I had the courage to go into the forest. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Will it see? Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly. But I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? <laughs> I do, yes. That reminds you of Ron in, in Chamber of Secrets. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? Uh, I'll think about it. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. So I've got to go and follow the stupid ass butterflies. You've got to be joking me. Find the butterflies in the Don't forbidden forget, forest. The butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. Oh, you've got to be bloody joking me. All right, well, we're going to have to use our broom here. I guess that's a good uh, opportunity to get the broom out. When can I use it? Oh, what's this? Revelio. Oh, huh. It's a page, hogs me. There we go. Okay. Let's go see where these pissing ass butterflies are. Actually, first of all, oh, stop, 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 stop. How do I dismount this? Rebellion. Um, uh, I need to change my spells back to what I had. So I think I had this one on here. And then I had, what have I got here? I've got Confringo and Expelliarmus. I think I had this one up top. 
And then, if I remember rightly, I don't have it. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. Where are they going? Well, we've come this far. Miss Willis, we might get an answer about these butterflies. I need to get up here. Revelio. Where the hell are these butterflies gone? Oh, there they are. Where are you going, butterflies? Why? <sighs> Where are you? Oh, hello. Well, well. The Christmas tree. Look <laughs> what we have here. Uh, okay. So now we go back. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. That wasn't too bad. We've had worse challenges. A lot worse challenges than that. So I'm not going to be mad about it. If I remember rightly, we can't actually... I mean, we could have fast travelled, but... I don't really see the point. We want to use Hopefully our broom, right? So let's just use it. Alright. Do -do -do -do. We got a Christmas tree. I wonder if we can put that in the room of requirement. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? Uh, yes. And I was well rewarded. Nothing exciting, yeah. They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were... Okay, well, she was she was kind of uh, a little bit crazy. Oh, one sec, guys. I'm just having a bit, uh, a bit of my drink. Have a quick look. Okay, so we don't have any more quests around here. Do we have any quests on the world map? I don't even know how you... Oh, we do. What's this? What's it give you? Gold and one and a one handle. Oh, we're not going to do that. We we're going to go to uh, we're go, we're going to go to Hogwarts and do the room of requirement. So let's let's do that. Let's do that. Um, set travel. And hopefully, the room of requirement will be deep. Okay, so we have to meet Professor Weasley down here. There we go. Let's go. Professor Weasley. Hmm, somewhere away from prying eyes. Whoa, there's the door, boys. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. <coughs> All right. Room of Requirements. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. 
It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student Revelio. might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. Summit chest, if man. ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay, so we get another spell, so that's good. Oh, it's like a swirly spell. That's pretty cool. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna put all of this stuff like on the third one down, I think. Yeah. Excellent work. Oh. You'll note that you are now in possession Rebellion. of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Moonstone. Let's move on. Moonstone's going to be for crafting stuff. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? I'm going to get I'm going to try and get everything I can on the way. Is that goodness? I waited for you for ages. My old school bag. Oh, okay. I wondered where that had got to. Huh? Old school bag. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Oh, okay. Yes, Professor. So we're exploring by ourselves now. Rebellion. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. No, I can't. I can't keep it down. Leave me alone. Alright. Rebellion. Uh. Here. There we go. Let me see if there's anything else down here we should get. How do you get that? No! How do you get that? Do I have to pull this closer? Lumos, oh. Akio! Pull it even closer around here. Around here. Uh, let me try this. Let me open. Oh, gears full? You gotta be bloody joking me. What is this game, bro? Give me some extra freaking gear slots. I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. Gears always full. Da, 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 da. Destroy. I destroy anything that's green, by the way. Uh, 45. I'm actually going to equip this one and destroy this one. Uh, but I am going to change the way it looks. I don't like wearing a hat, so... I'm just going to put it on, but change it so it looks like I'm not wearing one. Destroy. And destroy. Uh, we got so many things we need the room of requirement for as well. <clears throat> Destroy. I could be selling all this for money, you know. Alright. Hopefully there's not a lot of gear. That's all I can say. Alright. Where do I go now? Uh, a 
Aha! There we go! Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Oh, days. Two right. An intruder! Stop them! <laughs> An intruder, stop them. <laughs> What's he? No, not. Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <laughs> he fell apart! I love it. Revenue. I love it. Uh, we got that. Okay. Let's just make this nice and clean. Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Revelio. What's this do? Ah, it's like a Oh. We're getting very red now. <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? It's a snitch. It's a golden snitch. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Can bring up. Is there a way to break these boards? Is there a way to break them? Okay. Uh, what about this one? The finger. Nah, probably not. Uh, what about if I pull this Accio. towards me? Oh, can I still not get in there? What the hell? How is, how is it you can't squeeze? Come on, man. Revelio. Okay, so I've got a... Depulso. Push that. But I've got to go back out here because I've got to pull... Oh, this is a little test, this is, isn't it? Oh, my God. Uh, da, 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 da. Accio. Oh, not that one. Pull it around here. There we go. So we can search it. Oh my days. Revelio. I want to keep checking see if there's anything we can collect in here. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Might be where he is, you know, boys. We might have found him. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. I like Deke. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Okay. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Uh huh. Wow. 
Whoa. Okay. Well, the room seems to be changing. <laughs> Love it. That's awesome. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. That's awesome. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Okay. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. We need that. You have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal magical properties of unidentified gear that you have collected. So we have collected a few bits that are... Look at that. Rebellion. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Okay, so talk, speak to Professor Weasley. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. That's cool. Okay, so it's just like a teardrop. Pretty damn cool. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for I think now. we've got enough. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. Okay. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Alright. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? So I gotta assign it first, so let's assign it to oh, this one. To Y. Um Okay, so pot potions table. Small. Small. Oh, all small. So, which one is it? Small. small. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. Um, can we change? Oh, you can change the color. Nice. Black, white, blue, green, pink, purple, red. I like red. There we go. Uh, plants. Uh, let's put this one over here. Can, can we spin it around? A rotate object? Oh, that's, that's great. I want to line it up here. Um... Let's change the color of this as well. We want it red. Uh, well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Okay. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Uh, I'd like to know more about desk. 
Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? Oh, Deke. He's been Sorry. at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, secret. and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Mm. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. We're going to be great friends with Deke. Uh, can I use the trans transfiguration magic anywhere? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. Fair enough. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Okay. Thank you. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another Ooh. transfiguration spell for use in the room. Yes, definitely. I would like to. Room of requirement is ours, boys. Let's go. We're nearly level 22 as well. Chairs. So can I just get rid of everything? What else can I get rid of? Uh, can I get rid of that stand? Oh, I can. Let's go. So these are going to be our potion... Our potion... Um, things. And this is going to be our plants. That's pretty cool. Read mail. What mail is that? Do I have mail? Oh, wrong one. Wrong one, guys. Read mail. What's this mail? Professor Fig. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket. We found a green and green. Oh, no. That's the wrong one. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine, Professor Fig. So, it looks like we're going to be going to Professor Fig at some point. Let's have a look at the gear we actually got as well. So, we got a new scar. Nothing that's better than what we've got on, unfortunately. Uh, but stuff we can sell, so that's good. Um, this is better. That's actually pretty cool as well. Uh, da, 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 da. And it has a charm on it. Increased damage with Crucio. Oh my god. Change appearance. We I don't think we've learned Crucio yet, but it's good to know it's in the pocket. Ooh, increased damage with Defindio. Ooh, okay. We'll put that on as well. Because we use Defindio quite a bit and it's better than what we will what we've been wearing. Uh new hats. Not as powerful, something we can sell. Glasses, we can sell them as well. Gloves, they're better than what we had on. Increased damage of all damage spells. Oh, okay, so all red spells. Increased damage of all of all damage spells. So that's all the red ones. And that's pretty sick. Let's change the look of these as well. Um, let's just wear them ones. Oh, yeah. Okay, that, that's pretty sick. I like that. All right, let's uh, get this other spell. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. Already got some. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Okay. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I like a blank, a blank canvas. I can do what I want with. So, let's just give ourselves a blank canvas here. Can I get rid of anything else here, or? I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think we're good. There wasn't a lot here anyway, to be fair. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. 
You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. That's going to be Why fun. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. Uh... Okay, so... What's this? Enhanced items used in the room of requirement. Wall hangings. Well, that's not it, is it? Am I not getting this? What do I have to do here? A desk of description. I'm just going to see what there is actually here. Um, gothic desk. So these are just all like lamps and stuff. Wall, wall paintings. Uh, furniture which I'm going to probably be doing a lot of stuff in this room off camera just to get it all looking nice uh, how do I how do I magic the floor um, conjure five wall decorations and conjure floor decorations Oh, okay. All right, so let's let's conjure some wall decorations. Oh, wait, that wrong wrong one. Uh, wall hangings. Here we go. Lion's crest. Let's put this up. Can we make it bigger? Oh, you can. That's pretty cool. Well, I like that one. I can't make it any bigger than that. Uh, then what we can do is we can add... Uh, some of these plates around it. That looks pretty cool. That's three. Uh, let's add... Let's add this. Uh, selected space is currently occupied. What are you occupied by, bro? That's saying there's not a way I can make this smaller. I don't even know what it is. I think, oh, it's a mirror. Okay, so we can put that just like there. Three, probably gonna delete all this stuff anyway, to be honest. I have to make it quite small. There we go. Uh, now, floor decorations rugs, furniture, seating. Um, I don't want to do any rugs, maybe some chairs or something. See if a seating will help. Let's put some chairs. Um, oh, you can change the color of the chairs as well. I like a black chair. Uh, uh, we'll have it black. Uh, rotate the chair. Oh, there's one. Oh, I could put a few little rugs. Uh, change size of the rug. Just there. Just there. Oh, uh, what else can I put on here? Put any tables? Medium desk, medium desk. Right, these, these, these. Four. Uh, 
That's me another chair. I'm probably going to get rid of this, depending on how it looks. Good there we go. Shall we move on? Yeah, let's move on. Nothing too bad. All right. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Oh, so anything we've conjured, we can just change. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform altering spell to customize it. Okay. Oh, right, let's customize. Uh, central floor. Oh my god. This object is locked. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Uh, change the color. I don't want to move it. Just want to change change it to. Let's have a red one. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe we'll go black. I, I, I'm going to spend so much time here. Alterate the style of an item. Adjust the size of an item. Okay. Uh, can I not adjust the size of it now? Oh, that's just a small chair. All right. We'll change. We'll change the style. How do you change this? Ah, there we go. There we go. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Holy shit. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Okay. Oh, here we go. Now they're not locked. Ah, I like it. I like it. I like this one. Oh, that one looks even better, doesn't it? Look at that. That looks fire, but it looks a bit more like slithering. Oh, I kind of like this one. This is kind of like, it's red, it suits me. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Oh, you can change Professor the colour. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Okay. So I can, you can change everything. Actually ridiculous. I'm going to get rid of these mirrors. I don't like them. Uh, I'll get rid of this as well. You get my moonstone back, you know? I like the the, the wall. Uh, the floor, should I say. All right, let's talk to Deke. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I like uh, a cool moonlit ambience. Sounds perfect. I'd like something natural and earthy. I focus best the room and it's dark and mysterious. I like a, na a natural. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Mm. Mm, sounds perfect. Sounds good, doesn't it? We'll see what it what it does here. Oh, so you can literally change the way the room, <laughs> the light in the room. That is, that's so good, so good. Love it. Mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. 
No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Yeah, me too. What's this? Something's opening up. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. More room. Love it. Got to have more room. I'm gonna, probably going to get loads of uh, s stone for that rubbish as well. Oh my god. What in the blue hell? An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Okay. Alright. So I do want to speak to Deke. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh, I feel warm and cosy. I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable, as if I'm floating inside a mug of butterbeer. Oh, sounds perfect. Much better. Just natural. I like it to feel natural, so... We shall keep it natural. We leveled up as well. We've got a talent point. Can I not get rid of it? Can I alter it? Oh, I actually can. <laughs> I can alter it. That is fire. I love that. That's that's pretty good. Can I change the colour as well? Oh my god, you can do everything. That's so that's so cool. I love it. Alright. I like a blank cam canvas, so I'm going to get rid of everything I possibly can get rid of. wave your wand and it goes away and you get so much moonstone for this as well not that we need it we don't need moonstone really Look how many pictures we can just get rid of here huh how much stuff's in here man Probably have to point your, your thing at this though. Oh my god. I like a blank canvas. I'm going to probably fix all this up off screen. And then in the next episode, we, you'll take a look at it hopefully and uh, see, see the change that's coming. <laughs> Like I did say, this episode is going to be mostly me in the room of requirement anyway. But yeah, I'll probably do the rest of this off camera. Um, so we do need to start getting actual big pots. Uh, yield is only one bottle, so... That don't take that long. Uh, leaves and medical herbs used in one of the potion. We purchase. Alright. So now at least we know. Oh, let's see what other quests we've actually got as well. So now we've got the room of requirement all done. The map chamber. Oh, we have to go back to the map chamber now. It's not bad. Uh, I might do this little side mission. I think that's the only side mission we've actually got. I don't see another side mission anywhere. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's it. We haven't even discovered all the map yet. Literally, we've only just discovered up here. Alright, we might, we might go and do that side mission. But, I'm very happy with the way this looks. We need bigger potting stations. So, I do need to go to Hogsmeade to buy bigger potting stations. And I might actually... I might actually uh, make it so potions is down here. Uh, this can be potions. Oh my god, nothing ever just goes away when you want it to. You probably have to just fling your wand around <laughs> to get rid of everything. Mate, the room of requirement is really good though. It gives you so much moonstone, it's actually unreal. Oh, I think I've got the hang of it now. Can you stop? Stop. Oh my god. Sometimes you aim at the walls. And really, all you want to do is get rid of everything. All right, let's do the uh, the floor in here. Oh my god! Should we have it matching? I don't. I really like this floor. I don't know why. I just do. But we're not. We're gonna have it matching. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. Let's change the color of it. We want it red, right? There we go. Red's that colour, right? We have Gryffindor. We've got to rep. You have to rep the colour. Uh... Oh, you can even change how this looks. Oh, come on. Absolute fire. That looks cool. And then let's change this as well. Come on. That looks good here. Uh, let's just have it how it was, but let's just ha let's have it red. Mate, it looks sick. I love that. So we're gonna go into. Um, we are definitely gonna go into. Oh, we got a flute thing here as well. This is so sick. I want to spend so much time in here. It's ridiculous. Actually stupid. Do you want to get rid of them? Can I change it? Oh, you can change it. I like that. That's sick. Oh my god. This is why this game is great. Just the, the amount of stuff you can do. Oh, you can even change it. Change the statue you have. We gotta go, we gotta go with the owl. We have to go with the owl. The owl is fire. Uh, that was gonna change. Oh my god, you can even change this. That looks cool. Can I change the walls? Mate, you can change literally. There's nothing you can't change. I am going to have these walls on. Because these walls look good. These wooden walls. But then change them to red. It won't take, it, it's not going to take me long to do this whole thing, honestly. 
task. I'm gobsmacked by how how good the actual game. Like seriously, look how you can change everything. Just <laughs> everything. Oh my god. You don't even have to have everything the same as I. Mate, everyone's room of requirement is going to look different. <laughs> Literally, everyone's room of requirement is going to look so different. I love it. I think, I think this is a great game, honestly. Just for this, just for this by itself. Like, there's not many games that have this level of great gameplay and. And, and customization in it. Alright, one more thing and then we're gonna go and do that side mission. Can I do that as well? That looks better. Oh my god. I'm so happy with this, the way this is turning out. Alright. Let's go. Can we use flute powder to... Get to that... To that, um, mission? Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, we've got an, another... We can go to another, uh, Wingardium Leviosa. Acquire a venomous attack here. Acquire a new mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously so we need to find more than one enemy so we need to acquire a mandrake okay easy we can just go and buy one or we can buy the seeds we need to go we need to go to Ho hogsmeade anyway um so that will be brilliant so let's go to hogsmeade and let's just do that so let's uh so we need to... Alright. We need big tables, small tables. Instead of small tables, we need big tables. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to hogs. I wanna be able to plant everything, not just one little thing, you know. So let's go and get some big some big tables for brewing and stuff. I think this guy might have them. If not, well, just let me know if there's something in particular. At least we can sell them. Beast feeder, spellcraft, beast toy box, spellcraft, chopping station, spellcraft, uh, potting table with two large pots, spellcraft, potting table with large pot, spellcraft. Uh, three grand flower. Potting table with medium pot. Potting table with two medium pots. Potting table with three medium pots. Potting table with three small pots. Potting table with five small pots. Potting station. Medium uh, T shaped uh, potion station spellcraft. A lot of to conjure T shaped potion station perfectly suited to all of your potion brewing needs. Um. No, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be getting all of these at some point anyway. So let's just sell everything we don't need. I'm literally gonna sell him everything that we don't we're not gonna use. Um, we're not gonna use that. I'm not. I probably won't sell him my legendary stuff. But everything else can go. Okay, so let's get potting table with large pot spellcraft. Mm. Potting table with two large pots. Three grand. All right, we're gonna do it. Nothing like finding just the right thing. We're gonna do it, there? and then we're gonna go and get the potion one as Let well. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. 
It's three grand. That's mad. Or three thousand galleons. Now we need the potions one as well. Uh, and I have to go to potions. Where's potions? Oh, it is. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Oh, maybe you, can you not get potion stands from him? Do I have to get it from the other guy as well? I hope to oh, see you Oh, I think you I have again. to get it from the, the same dude. I'm such an idiot. I have to get it from the same guy. That's ridiculous. He sells everything, doesn't he? So we we got a potting stand. So now we need potion stands. I was wondering when I'd see you again. Okay, so potions, potions, potions. This is uh, which one did we get? We got the three thousand potting stand. So pot, medium, medium, medium. Potting table. What's this? Beast feeder. Dung. We don't need that yet. Uh, unlocks the ability to conjure hopping pots. This type of material. Little pots will brew ran. Okay. Unlocks the ability to conjure. Okay. Potting stands. Table with a large potting table with a medium potting table with medium pot spellcraft. Medium potion. T shaped. I'm trying to figure out what's better. Will it be T shaped potion station? Unlocks the ability to conjure T shaped potion station. Perfectly suited to all your pot, your potion brewing needs, or medium potion station unlocks the ability to conjure a medium potion station, perfectly suited to all your potion brewing needs. Maybe we go for medium. Everything else seems there's. I don't think there's a large for potions. If there is, I'm about to, I'm about to I'm about to waste a grand or one thousand gallons. So. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Well, I can't see one like a, a one for potions. All right, so we need mandrake. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. All right, we need we need we need to go and get a mandrake, and I think we get that right at the top, if I remember rightly. So I think we have to go all the way at the top. All the way up here. Oh. We have to go all the way up here. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Maybe not. I think we go this way. Does it get any cozier in Hogsmeade? I think it does. Hogsmeade is cozy though. I won't lie. Hogsmeade's brilliant. All right, so we go this way. I'm actually buy the seeds for Mandrake because then we can we can make them ourselves. I might buy a couple of seeds. All right, okay, this is where we have to go. Have a look around. I'll be with you in just a minute. Okay. So Mandrake seeds are only 800. If you buy a Mandrake, it's 500. So we might as well buy the seeds. Oh, I'm um, always Chinese thrilled when a young man makes seeds. a wise purchase. I can take Venomous you to seeds. I'm gonna buy all of this. Uh, fertilizer, a rich compost that can be added to plants to increase their yield. Buy some of that as well. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. And I'm gonna buy a mandrake I so, so I can go and do the mission far. now. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. All right, let's travel back to our room of requirement and go and plant this stuff. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Uh, where's the room of requirement? Is this it? A map chamber? This is the room of requirement up here. Travel. Okay. Now we're going to go and put our potting stations in. I love it in here. It's so fun. Uh, conjure. Small, small, medium. Here we go. This is what we want. So this is a... I don't get what's the difference. 
potion station. So what we're going to do is, first of all, uh, I'm actually going to remove this or inspect it and pull it out. How do I pull it out? Empty pot. There we go. And then we're going to change it. Collect that. Um, there we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put some medium stuff down. So this side's going to... Actually, this is going to be potting. So... Can, oh, what's this? Hopping pots. What's this? Conjuring. So... These are potions. Potions, 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 potions. Okay, so these are all potions. Alright, so we need to go to potting. Uh, where's the large one? I brought a large one. Right? Oh, I did. There we go. Uh, uh, change the color. We have it red, a Gryffindor. Um, what else can we change? What are you doing? So what we're going to do, this is going to be up. We're going we're to put all four of these down. So we're going to go, we're going to put this one on. Change the color. This might be a long episode, guys. I do apologize. But uh, not much you can do. <laughs> all right, so there's red. Change. Uh. Oh, what one looks better? I don't even know. I'm guessing they all do the same. I oh, know, I kind of like that one. It's red, yes. I put it down. this one round as well uh, put it down uh, can I move this no not the floor you idiot the, the rug uh, I can there we go. Oh. I want to put it in the middle. There we go. I want everything to look nice, boys. I want it all to look nice. We could probably put another pot in, another pot in one over here as well. Uh, pot. Hmm. Yeah, potting. No, not a small one. I don't want a small one. What are these? So I don't, I don't think. Uh, uh, let's put a rug down. Same rug as we had. Small, flip it around. Change the color. Uh, that's red. There we go. That means I got to change. The oh, can you stop with the floor, mate? I'm begging you. Change these to red. Everything in my room's got to be red. That's just fat now. There you go. And then we could probably mandrakes. Uh, uh, mandrake is a small plant. Mandrakes. So this one's gonna be, this one's gonna be mandrakes. 
This one can be... Uh, and then this one. Why am I standing on it? That's what I want to know. Uh, Chinese chomping cabbages. And... Dinny. There we go. So we've got some, a couple of things brewing all at once. Uh, I actually might put some potions in here as well. You know, that's what we're going to do. Should I do it off camera? I don't know whether to do it off camera. I don't know if you guys can involved. You know, what? next video we're going to do all of the all the missions. For now, we are going to uh, just focus on the room of requirements. That's what this video is for, anyway. So we need some medium. I don't know. I kind of don't want it taking up a lot of space so what I might do put one there Deke mate you got you're always you're in the way mate Deke's in the way here right, let's change the colour Actually, I've got to change that. Uh, what looks better, actually? Let's have a look what looks better. Mm. You know, I might go for this one, actually. It's smaller, more refined somehow. I don't know what, how, but it just is. There we go. So, I would like Deke to move, but I don't think he's gonna, for some reason. And then what I can do is add Just add a rug. There we go. And now we can put, start brewing some stuff. Uh, yield, yield. What's this? Maxima potion. Maxima potion. Uh, focus potions. Missing ingredients, so I can't do another fo focus potion. Endorous potions. Then obviously, they're very trustworthy. Healing potions. So, yeah, it looks like we're doing pretty well so far, to be honest. We can already collect these. Oh my god, they don't take long to do they? Nearly done, already done. Look at that. It's just absolute so It's just so good, it really is. Um. Let's, have an, let's, let's do some more indoor, indoors, indoors potions. Oh, you can. You, I can. I need to get some more freaking ingredients, bro. Increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. Let's get some more of them. Oh, 
I want to get I want to get some more of these. But yeah, it looks like I'll, I would like Deep to actually move out the way, but I don't think he's gonna. <laughs> so that's all right. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. I mean, you know what? We could do we could we could try and do that. I'm not gonna come back in now, so. We could try and do that mission, or we could end the episode here and uh, start a new, a new one. Um, let's have let's have a look, see what the mission is. I'm not going to do the world map one yet. That's not that's not going to be this episode, but we can have a look at this one. A vendor in us just seems to need your help with something. Let's just go and see. What, what what they want. There's a flute powder here as well. Uh, okay, so I need to go out the grounds. Uh, so. Why do I keep doing that? Stop doing that. There we go. So this is the closest I'm actually going to be able to go. So Let's just go here. Let's go and see what he wants, and then we can uh, try and see if there's enough time to do it this episode. Convenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Or we go straight for it next episode. We'll soon see. Shouldn't take it too long to get there. I really wouldn't mind hitting that flute powder up though. Just so I could travel back there straight away and don't have to freaking You know, waste my time. So many enemies down there. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh my lord, what am I to do? All right, let's get this flute power. Handy resource indeed, your Revelio. I'm most pleased to be included. There's so many chests around; it's ridiculous. I don't think I've been here yet, as well. So this is a new place. Gives us extra places to sell things and whatnot. Didn't Clementine Willardsley ask you to follow those butterflies into the Forbidden Forest for her? Not the bravest person, that Clementine. I'd love to see you go into the Forbidden Forest. Alright, so I do need to put on uh, this. I've got a very strong feeling that there's a chest around over. Oh, it's not an eyeball. Okay. We didn't need to go invisible. Oh, well, identified objects. Not too shabby. All right, let's go and see what he wants. Revelio. Everything else seems to. Everything's always locked, man. It's my little daughter again. Let's talk to her. Is there something I can help you with, Mr... Adley. Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Blast Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I known he wanted to procure venom from a living acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. Uh, I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. In fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch so that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... I fled. 
Uh, why chase after acromantula venom? Why would someone risk their life for spider venom? As a potion ingredient, acromantula venom is incredibly valuable. In large part because it is, as Paul Milo has proven, impossible to get from a live acromantula. Uh. If I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, forget I said anything. Uh, I'm not going to a freaking. Well, where could that acromantula cave be? What a joke. Revelio. Alright, so we know what we gotta do. We gotta go and get freaking spider shit, as pure usual. What's this? It's like a place for Depulsa. Accio. I don't break through that. Levioso. Nope. Depulso. Ah. Depulso it. Let's go. Revelio. Anything else in here? It's inside the bloody house. Oh no, it's not. Yay. Some more stuff we can sell. All these freaking things are locked. When we get freaking Alohamora, bro, we are going to be. We're going to be in in good times. It's going to be good times around here. All right. I don't really want to go to this spider, spider's cave. If I'm being honest with you. I'm sick to death of seeing freaking spiders everywhere. Um, we do have to actually do... There is another quest we actually have to do. Uh, and that is Professor Garlic's assignment for Wingardium Labiosa. Acquire a venomous Tataclia. Which we got, we've got brewing at the minute in our room of requirement. Uh, acquire and use a mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously, which we could actually do now if we could find a freaking suggested level thirty. Okay, I'm not doing that. I'm nowhere near the level yet. I'm only level twenty-one. Oh, so okay, so that 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 spider one's gonna have to wait, I'm afraid, until we level thirty, and then I'll do it. But at the minute, I'm I'm not level thirty, so I can't do it. I'll probably get my ass kicked. Um, Wingardium Leviosa. I really want to get this Wingardium Leviosa done as fast as possible. But I think that's gonna be the end of the episode, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. I am gonna travel quickly back to um, the. Uh, the room of requirement uh travel back there and uh i love you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new it was a longer episode today but you guys are worth it in my opinion um hopefully you enjoyed the episode i'm gonna move this uh quickly over so i move over and i'll go there how far can i move it I do want to move it, but I'm going to have to move it. There we go. Just so we've got a nice room to walk into. Looks, looks good. But yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy this. I love you guys, and I'll see you all on the We're next video. Peace out, guys.